Welcome to the Morning with My Community. If you wanted to read through the entire Bible in one year, you've come to the right place. Today is January 7th, and we are in the book of Genesis. We will be reading chapters 20, 21, 22, and 23. Before we get started, I just want to take a moment to celebrate those of you that are having a birthday today by singing, Happy Birthday to you! Happy Birthday to you! Happy Birthday to my dear January 7th birthday darlings and many more! I hope that you are having a terrific day celebrating your birthday and in honor of your birthday, i like to make a balloon art for you. Stretch the balloon. Tie the balloon really well. Ooh, it's going to be a long one. I made a cross for you. I hope you like it. Happy birthday. <laughs>Abimelech 
rose early in the morning and called all his servants and told all these things in their ears, and the men were sore afraid. Then a member like called Abraham and said unto him, What hast thou done unto us? And what have I offended thee that thou hast brought on me and on my kingdom a great sin? Thou hast done deeds unto me that ought not to be done. And Abimelech said unto Abraham, What sawest thou that thou hast done this thing? And Abraham said, Because I thought, Surely the fear of God is not in this place, and they will slay me for my wife's sake. And yet indeed she is my sister. She is the daughter of my father, but not the daughter of my mother, and she became my wife. And it came to pass, when God caused me to wander from my father's house, that I said unto her, This is thy kindness, which thou shalt show unto me at every place whither we shall come, say of me, He is my brother. And Amimbalek took sheep and oxen and manservants and women servants and gave them unto Abraham and restored him Sarah, his wife. And Abimelech said, Behold, my land is before thee. Dwell where it pleases thee. And unto Sarah she said, Behold, I have given thy brother a thousand pieces of silver. Behold, he is to thee a covering of the eyes unto all that are with thee and with all other, thus she was reproved. So Abraham prayed unto God, and God healed Amimelech and his wife and his maidservants, and they bare children. For the Lord has fast closed up all the wombs of the house of Abimelech because of Sarah, Abraham's wife. That concluded chapter 20 of the book of Genesis and the Holy Bible. We will now read chapter 21 of the book of Genesis of the Holy Bible. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. For Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son in his old age at the set time of which God had spoken to him. And Abraham called the name of his son that was born unto him, whom Sarah bare to him, Isaac. And Abraham circumcised his son Isaac, being eight days old, as God had commanded him. And Abraham was a hundred years old when his son Isaac was born unto him. I'm turning the page. And Sarah said, God hath made me to laugh, so that all that hear will laugh with me. And she said, Who would have said unto Abraham that Sarah should have given children suck? For I have borne him a son in his old age. And the child grew and was weaned, and Abraham made a great feast the same day that Isaac was weaned. And Sarah saw the son of Hagar, the Egyptian, which she had borne unto Abraham, mocking. Wherefore she said unto Abraham, Cast out this bondwoman and her son, for the son of this bondwoman shall not be heir with my son, even with Isaac. And the thing was very grievous in Abraham's sight because of his son. And God said unto Abraham, Let it not be grievous in thy sight because of the lad and because of thy bondwoman. In all that Sarah had said unto thee, hearken unto her voice, for in Isaac shall thy seed be called. And also of the son of the bondwoman will I make a nation because he is thy seed. 
And Abraham rose up early in the morning and took bread and a bottle of water and gave it unto Hagar, putting it on her shoulder and the child, and sent her away. And she departed and wandered in the wilderness of Beersheba. And the water was spent in the bottle, and she cast the child under one of the shrubs. And she went and sat her down over against him a good way off, as it were a bow shot. For she said, Let me not see the death of the child. And she sat over against him and lifted up her voice and wept. And God heard the voice of the lad. And the angel of God called to Hagar out of heaven and said unto her, what ail thee, Hagar? Fear not, for God hath heard the voice of the lad where he is. Arise, lift up the lad, and hold him in thy hand, for I will make him a great nation. And God opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water, and she went and filled the bottle with the water and gave the lad drink. And God was with the lad, and he grew and dwelt in the wilderness, and became an archer. And he dwelt in the wilderness of Paran, and his mother took him a wife out of the land of Egypt. And it came to pass at that time that Abimelech and Phishol, the chief captain of his host, spake unto Abraham, saying, God is with thee in all that thou dost in all that thou doest. Now therefore swear unto me, here by God, that thou wilt not deal falsely with me, nor with my son, nor with my son's son, but according to the kindness that I have done unto thee, thou shalt do unto me, and to the land wherein thou hast sojourned. And Abraham said, I will swear, and Abraham reproved Abimelech because of a well of water, which um, Abimelech's servant had violently taken away. But Abimelech said, I was not who have done this thing, neither didst thou tell me, neither yet heard I of it, but today. And Abraham took sheep and oxen and gave them unto Abimelech, and both of them made a covenant. And Abraham set seven ewe lambs of the flock by themselves. And Abimelech said unto Abraham, What mean these seven ewe lambs which thou hast set by themselves? And he said, For these seven ewe lambs shall thou take of my hand, that they may be a witness unto me that I have digged this well. Wherefore he called that place Beersheba, because there they swear both of them. Thus they made a covenant at Beersheba. Then Abimelech rose up and Phishol, the chief captain of his host, and they returned into the land of the Philistines. And Abraham planted a grove in Beersheba and called there on the name of the Lord, the everlasting God. And Abraham surrounded in the Philistines' land for many days. And Abraham sojourned in the Philistines' land for many days. And that concluded the reading of chapter 21 of the book of Genesis. We will now begin reading chapter 22 of the book of Genesis. And it came to pass after these things that God did tempt Abraham and said unto him, Abraham, and he said, Behold, here I am. And he said, Take now thy son, thy only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains, which I will tell thee of. And Abraham rose early in the morning, and saddled his ass, and took two of his young men with him, and Isaac his son, and clave the wood for 
the burnt offering and rose up and went unto a place of which God had told him. Then on the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place afar off. And Abraham said unto his young men, Abide ye here with the ass, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac his son, and he took the fire in his hand and a knife, and they both, and they went both of them together. And Isaac spake unto Abraham his father and said, My father, and he said, Here am I, my son. And he said, Behold the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a for a burnt offering. So they went both of them together. And they came to the place which God had told him of. And Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in order and bound Isaac his son and laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here am I. And he said, Lay not thy hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God, seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, thy only son, from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, Behind him a ram caught in a thicket by his horns, and Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. And Abraham called the name of that play Jehovah Jireh, as it is said to this day, in the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. And the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham out of heaven the second time, and said, By myself have I sworn, said the Lord, for because thou hast done this thing, and hast not withheld thy son, thy only son, that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed, as the stars of the heaven, and as the sand which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies." And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. So Abraham returned unto his young men, and they rose up and went together to Beersheba, and Abraham dwelt at Beersheba. And it came to pass after these things that it was told Abraham, saying, Behold, Milcah, she hath also borne children unto thy brother Nahor, Hus his firstborn, and Buz his brother, and Camiel the father of Aram, and Jesed, and Hazo, and Pildash, and Jerdaf, and Methia, Bethiel. And Bethiel begat Rebekah, these eight Milcah did bear to Nahor, Abraham's brother, and his concubine, whose name was Ruma, she bare also Tamar and Gaham and Thahash and Macha. And that concluded chapters 22 of the book of Genesis. We will now read chapter 23 of the book of Genesis. And Sarah was a hundred and seven and twenty years old. These were the years of the life of Sarah. And Sarah died in Kaija Arba, in the same, the same is Hebron, in the land of Canaan. And Abraham came to mourn for Sarah and to weep for her. And Abraham stood up 
from before his death, and spake unto the sons of Heth, saying, I am a stranger and a sojourner with you. Give me a possession of a bury, burying place with you, that I may bury my dead out of my sight. And the children of Heth answered Abraham, saying unto him, Hear us, my lord, thou art a mighty prince among us. In the choice of our sepulchres, bury thy dead. None of us shall withhold from thee his sepulchre, but that thou mayest bury thy dead. And Abraham stood up and bowed himself to the people of the land, even to the children of Heth. And he commanded with them, saying, If it be your mind that I should bury my dead out of my sight, hear me and entreat for me to Ephron, the son of Zobar, the son of Zohar, that he may give me the cave of Machpelah, which he hath, which is in the end of his field, for as much money as it is worth, he shall give it me for a possession of a burying place among you. And Ephron dwelt among the children of Heth, and Ephron the Hittite answered, answered Abraham in the audience of the children of Heth, even of all that went in at the gate of his city, saying, Nay, my lord, Hear me, the field I give thee, and the cave that is therein I give it thee. In the presence of the, of the sons of my people give I it thee, bury thy dead. He and Abraham bowed down himself before the people of the land. And he spake unto Ephron in the audience of the people of the land, saying, but if thou wilt give it, I pray thee, hear me, I will give thee money for the field. Take it of me, and I will bury my dead there. And Ephron answered Abraham, saying unto him, My lord, hearken unto me. The land is worth four hundred shekels of silver. What is that betwixt, betwixt me and thee? Bury therefore thy dead. And Abraham hearkened unto Ephron, and Abraham weighed to Ephron the silver, which he had named in the audience of the sons of Heth, four hundred shekels of silver, current money with the merchant. And the field of Ephron, which was Machpala, which was before Mamre, the field, and the cave which was therein, and all the trees that were in the field, that were in all the borders round about, were made sure. Unto Abraham for a possession in the presence of the children of Heth, before all that went in at the gate of his city. After this, Abraham buried Sarah his wife in the cave of the field of Machpelah before Mamre, the same is Hebron in the land of Canaan. And the field and the cave that is therein were made sure unto, I'm turning the page, Abraham for a possession of a burying place by the sons of Heth. And that concluded chapter 23 of the book of Genesis from the Holy Bible. Today is Sunday, January 7th. At this time, I would like you to focus your attention on what we can pray for this Sunday. I reserve Sunday to pray for the three C's, for my church, for the company that I work for, and the community that I live in. Now, what does that look like? It looks like praying for the pastors and staff, praying that people who are needing a place to worship will find a church um, that I go on Sunday so that way they can hear the word of God. And for the company that I work for, it means praying that God will bless the leadership of the company, that they will make the right decision so that the benefits, so that the employees will benefit from their decision. And of course, for the community, 
It will be the community that I'm a part of, whether it's the city that I live in or a group of people that I surround myself with that I pray for, my neighbors, the people that I frequently see on a weekly basis. I pray for those people, people like waiters and waitresses that I get to see weekly because we eat out at their restaurant. That's what I mean by community. I use this prayer journal. It says, pray more, worry less. <laughs> I encourage you to use the same journal um, in terms of keeping all your prayers in one place so that way you can date when you ask God uh, in prayer or for, for the things that you are needing. And then when God answer them, that way you can go back and date when he answer. Just remember that whenever you pray to God, he always answer each and every one. May not be the way that you like for him to answer, but rest assured he always answer your prayer in your best interest. At this point, I would like to introduce the action verb of the day, which is the word trust. By that, I mean trust in the Lord, trust in the people that you surround yourself with, trust in the process that you are involved in. Sometimes things may take longer, so you may think, oh, this process is not working, but that's not the case. It may need more time. So throughout the day, as you're thinking about the action verb of the day, just remember the word trust. I hope that this reading has been a blessing for you and that you are being encouraged uh, as you are reading God's word and that he's impressing ideas onto your heart and mind and action for you to take. And if so, trust in the Lord and execute what he impressed upon you to do. And as always, I like to leave you by wishing you a cheerful day and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.